Good morning, Key Stage 1. Uh, Mrs McMahon has said that you're learning about the main features of a church and at the moment it's a bit difficult to come out of class so I'm just doing a little film for you about all the main bits of the church that you can watch in class and then use in your lessons. So let's go in and have a look. So when we go into church, the first thing that we see is our font. Now the lid isn't on it at the moment. The lid is down here because Oscar and Amelia's little sister Beatrice was baptized on Sunday here. Um, we see the font the first thing when we come in because it's the start of our Christian journey. It's the start of our faith um, and that's when we joined the church. So you can see all of the nice carvings on it. Can you see? Beautiful. So this is where you're christened or baptised. And many of you will have been baptised in this font here yourselves, I'm sure. Then we've got the main part of the church. So as we walk down the church show you a few different things so if i turn round you can see the big candle next to the font that's our paschal candle our easter candle and you can see the rope that rings the bell to tell everybody that we're going to worship and then we've got our memorial to all of the soldiers that fought in the world war one and World War Two that we remember on Remembrance Sunday. So we walk down the aisle. Got some people getting married soon. They'll be coming down the aisle. And then here we have our pulpit. And the pulpit is where I stand and I talk about what's in the Bible and I teach a lesson on what we've heard in the Bible reading. And then on this side is our lectern. And the lectern is where people will stand and read the Bible from and the set readings for each Sunday. Then we go up the chancel steps into the chancel. This is where the choir sits. This is where Adele, our organist, sits and plays our organ, plays us some beautiful music. And then here we've got the altar and you can see this beautiful stained glass window and the rear doss, all the carving behind is really lovely. And there's another window here. I'll show you another one in a moment when we go back down. Let's just see if I can get that so you can see it a little bit better. The sun's coming through that. There you go. That's baby Jesus in that one. And here is the rear doss with all the carvings. And at the bottom, you can see the words carved in. Sanctus, 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 Amen. That means holy, holy, holy. And it's of the Last Supper. You can see all the figures. So the altar is where we have our communion service and the bread and the wine is blessed and made holy and then given to the people. And then here, we can see there is a little light and a cupboard. So behind this, there's a special little cupboard that's called the ombre, And that's where we put the bread and the wine that's been blessed in. And then that's given out to people who are sick. So they might be at home or in hospital, or maybe they're old and they just can't come to church. And the candle that's lit in the red candle holder just reminds us that Jesus is present in that bread and wine. And then all around the church, you will see some of these. And school made these with church before I came. They're called the Stations of the Cross, and you can see the numbers on them. There's different ones 
And we use those at Holy Week to remind us of what happened in Jesus' last week in his life. And then I'll take you back down here. This is our book of remembrance that remembers people that aren't here anymore. And we have a little altar at the side for people to sit quietly at. And then there's another beautiful window. And the windows were used to tell the Bible stories because a long time ago, people couldn't read. So they, and the ones that could read, the Bibles weren't written in the language that they could understand either. They started off in Latin in this country. So people used to look at the windows and that taught them how to read the Bible. So there were lots of other things. And if you look at the roof, it's a little bit like a boat that reminds us of being in that journey with God. It reminds us a little bit like Noah's Ark, doesn't it? So hopefully that's a few things just to uh, get you going and get you thinking about the designs for your church. And um, you can ask me any questions if there's anything that I've forgotten or you still need to know. Have a good lesson.